So the main screen is divided into a few sections, like most of the research databases. And after the title, you can see that there is a search bar. And we'll be going through that in a couple minutes, exactly how to use that in the most efficient way. Um, but above, to begin with, at the very top, you can also search the sources that are used to populate or fill the database with information. And you can either search or browse to um, find that source information. In addition to searching, you can click on search by subject or topic, and that's more of a browsing interface or a filtering interface. And that allows you to go through the different sections like news and legal, that includes case files and patent searching, which can be very helpful. Um, there's also the international legal section, which is divided into these subcategories if you're not interested in the United States, but more along the lines of Canada or abroad. We also have information on specific companies. So if you're looking at Boeing or Microsoft or Google or Amazon, for example, you can get information on specific companies here. And then if you're looking for more information, um, including reference information on people, places, or things, you can use these down here. So the search interface works like most search bars on re in research databases. And we'll use an example in a minute, but I just wanted to point out that you can, if you're interested, click on this advanced options screen, which kind of pulls down a drop down, and you can search by date, entering in date parameters, um, using these specific date um, predefined date ranges here. You can also add segments or advanced search queries and use different types of operators to define exactly what you're searching for. We're going to use the and not in an example that I came up with in a moment. If you have a specific source like a journal or a reference text that you know is used in LexisNexis and you want to find more information for that specific source, you can do so there. You can look up the index terms. Um, in a future video, we will go into what that looks like. And you can also define uh, regarding the type of information. So newspapers, cases, law reviews, or company profiles. Those are the four main types of information that they have at LexisNexis Academic. So just a reminder, we're gonna use the and not today. Let's hit cancel here, go up to the search bar. So I was thinking about different topics to use during this video, and I came up with ISIS. That might be a really good example because ISIS is typically in the news every day right now, which means it'll probably show up a lot in LexisNexis. So let's say we only know about ISIS as the terrorist organization, and that is what we want to search for. So let's enter in ISIS, ISIS, and hit search and see what happens. Now there is a lot of information in LexisNexis, so it does take a little while to populate the search results. As you can see here, there's a thousand items that return. Similar to Google or another search engine, the listings come out in an, a numerical list here. There's the ability to filter or um, arrange by different types of facets here. We're gonna notice a couple things. One, Isis Pharmaceuticals is the name of a company that shows up a lot here. There's also other types of ISIS, non-terrorist ISIS results, such as suburban ISIS, um, ISIS test. But then we also have ISIS, ISIS, the acronym, um, which shows up in what we're looking for, which is uh, this Islamic Center terrorist organization. And as we scroll through, we can see other relevant pieces of information down here. It might take a little bit of um, filtering or browsing to get to what we're looking for. If we wanted to, we could click on the subject facet and wait for it to show up the subjects that are related to these results. And you might notice that terrorism, human rights viola violations, Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant, um, Muslims and Islam, etc., etc., show up on the left hand side. And that might help us with our search. However, if we wanted to, 
we could actually um, go back to the search by hitting edit search and we could easily remove a few of the things such as pharmaceuticals let's just copy ISIS pharmaceuticals to more quickly filter out some of those search results so if we click edit search it'll take us back up to that main screen simply showing us in the search bar what we had originally typed we will enter in ISIS pharmaceuticals and as you can remember, uh, by going to advanced options, and not is one of those operators that will allow us to uh, filter out pharmaceuticals. So we could build it in the advanced screen, or we could simply type in and not here. I always find that using capital letters is more appropriate when doing constructing search queries because it allows us to see exactly what we're searching for and some search interfaces require you to type your your operators using uh, capital letters or uppercase letters some do not but just for visual purposes especially for doing very complicated searches it's always best to use capital letters or it makes it a lot easier so let's try this search query again it's going to take several seconds to populate we still have a lot of results here as you can see there's even a notice that says you you yielded a large number of results a large number of results was um, returned over a thousand so it's just going to show the first 1000 but now we have coming up here a lot more of those relevant results showing up and now this might be when we decide to use the facets because we got rid of those high, um, high, highly present terms, the pharmaceuticals, and yet we still have a lot. So we might be able to find what we're looking for by using the facets. And I highly recommend that you go through the facets on your own. And depending on what you're searching for, you might be able to get very relevant or interesting information using these facets here. Okay, so now I'm going to click on LexisNexis Academic and it will return us to the main screen of LexisNexis. Note that because I did not hit edit search, it did not bring me back to my original search because that's okay, we're done with the ISIS example at the moment.